one way to never know. And there's only one way to know it's only open. In the 16th chapter of the Book of Matthew, a question is asked, Who do men say that the Son of Man is? And they answer them, Well, some say, John the Baptist. Others say, Elijah. Another, Jeremiah, or one of the prophets of all. He said to them, But who do you say that I am? And Peter answered, You are the Christ, the Son of the living God. He accepts it. But what was not the state or to express it to another until he had first reinterpreted this popular concept of Messiah in terms of his own experience. What he said to people, flesh and blood has not been given to people, but my father who was in death, he has been in death. No man can give to persuade you that you are by the same way of now the end of time. And you are not convinced. But I'll tell you this night how you will one day be convinced. There's only one way you will ever go to follow the Christ Jesus, who is God the Lord. And that is true, his son did. Who will call you Father? There is a point by God. He calls it Saul. It's based upon the first book of Samuel, the 16th chapter, the 14th through the 23rd verse. And in this, Saul is laid low with an evil spirit. And David restored him to hell by seeing his way into it. The name becomes a prophet, and prophesies the tongue of the son. And then he says to Saul, also, it shall be a face like my face that shall be seen. A man like me, thou shalt love, and be loved by forever. A man like this man, shall throw over the gate of new life to thee. See the Christ stand. He paints a word picture of the one thing that will be real to a man who has lost his mind or soul, has lost his mind and did not know who he was. 
seven years. Now, I tell you, there's only one body. That body is the Lord Jesus Christ. There's only one spirit. There's only one hope. Only one Lord. Only one faith. Only one baptism. Only one God. Who is the Father of us all, who is through all, above all, and in all. And, and this is how you will know that the man who bears the faith, he is my faith. And that he gives his praise of two names. Come on, that. I am one of his praise. My life that I have, I thank others. Not convinced because it seems that I don't know. For you and I have been praying to that came in 2,000 years ago by the advice and only the advice of no one else in Christ. It is quite a scripture that tells us, do you not realize that Jesus Christ is in you? God is your friend, honest with yourself, who is saying, no, I don't know the Lord. But we did in the 13th chapter of 2 Corinthians. Do you not realize? Jesus Christ is in you. And he who is the man of the Lord is one spirit with the Lord. And that he will change our lovely bodies to be of one form with his glory and glory. But now we have our two experiences. A lady finds herself in a dark interior. The entire throat is black. They are more than all. And it's very possible there is but one chair that she finds herself seated in. Looking through the glass, she sees a carriage, colorful girl, coming with you. A door opens on the head, and out steps from this door. The speaker, dressed in long clothes, wearing an English cape. I gave into the place where she was, I ignored her. I showed no recognition of her, but began to speak on the power, in for the power. And she knows that he said, I didn't say that. But it is not. It is narrow, and it is dark. And she has all the feelings. Then I came in the end, I still do not recognize her. I pay no attention to her, just me, from any power. Then she said, as though I was from the college in the view once more, I turned and re-entered this house and then walked it back. It was sheer power. When I was sent to the work I am doing, it was power who commanded. I was first embraced by infinite love. And I choose her, but while I'm one with her, I expect the risen Lord. I was standing before a being who was king to the power. Now you might think, it's an hour being, you know, God plays all the parts. God is a chosen being. Like Tobias, the legendary seer, in the service of death, he can assume any shape, any form. Any one in the service of the one who said. So infinite power is the same thing with infinite power. And we are told in scripture that Christ is the power of God. And the wisdom of God. So we see in this it is only a power. And infinite power, she knew who I was. I will tell you from now to the beginning, from now to the end of time, I will not have saved her. She will not have a shoulder her. By the only means that we're showing them, and that is God. For God speaks to man through the medium of me, but he reveals himself through the medium of me. I saw that in the first chapter of the book of Numbers. Had she not the vision herself, 
but she is too old for that child. Then he is the great of the door and put him in the way. After that, she found herself in the tent where she lives, and when I was going to the tent, the brother said to him, Here comes this blonde boy there. And she said, I did not have to ask you who this summer is. I knew he was my son, and I knew he was the king of the middle She said, Don't be afraid of what you have done. That takes nine months and two years after the third month. She was happy to have the first thing. And so, a man differs in this world from a woman. She makes the pattern of Sarah, and he makes the pattern of Gibbon. But the identical picture has related to each of them. So you know what is right, even in the number of three years that they have, you know what is right, you are right. And if you tell me the truth, you never know what is talking about. That you really have these experiences, pass the test, and see if you cannot get from a thing yourself and hands to the truth of what I'm talking about. I get to the actual hell. In some strange way, God knows for God is not being a follower. God is in. He is never so follower as even to be here or near this thing by his separation. God cannot even be here. Why? Because in this, he is doing what he may by it. But if I mean the that he would be but you can't get by and say, it's the door, it's the room, it's the very center of me. My hand is there, my head is there, my friend is there, but I can't say I am. And if it's a king of God, it's me. And I am in the name of God forever. But I am in the name forever. But he cannot be far off. In fact, he cannot be even so far off as he would be in it. For many of you by separation. That's who you really are. And that is the story of the best God. That's the Lord in this life. When he asks, who do you say, I am? And he came to the Lord. He would have said, you are the power of God. For the word Christ will find in the kingdoms as the power of God and the wisdom of God. One day, you will have experience. And you will see someone who has made his message without those things. You will come on the scene. On the scene, you will have made yourself a book that you will know. Her claim or his claim is a true claim. Or you will know you will be Jesus. Or know you will be Jesus. And you still will know. See, and it's not for you to know. No more time is it. And yet it is. And you know that you are ready to stay here. And there is no uncertainty in your mind as to what is true. And for me, the God will be in you. God obeys his own. Now let us look at him. Now she was born at his house of the key to the bank of our Lord. This system. I hope so. But I want to pray for this. But I do hope you heard me. But you won't have to do that after you think of this little set. And the abundance of your will. The body is very true. The beauty of your body is very true. The same is only for the spirit. And you can have a lot of books from the beauty of your body. You can probably see it in social media and so forth. But what are these people who deal with the life of the spirit? There is only one spirit. Me and me. I can make it to self. One loss, one loss, one loss. One loss, 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 one faith, one baptism, one God, and all of us all, with the bubble all, through all that we know, has told us to be in Egypt. Don't get it in the mouths of God. The foundation of the whole faith the days with that shell of the confession of the king. Here always the Lord of a God the Lord is one. You can't run away from that. When Jesus is asked to name the greatest of all the commandments in the nomination of being called the king, he told him this command. Here always the Lord of a God the Lord is one. It's a compound to one made up of many. That's what the word means. The word L is a plural word. 